What the fuck? What kind of weird shit is this? A hand on her boob. I like that. Later, bitch. Later, bitch. Yep. Fuck yeah, dude. <laughs> day man that was the fucking day I will never forget that fucking day that released day so happy back in Azeroth once again two days later Ashenvale questing <laughs> wow, I guess he rolled on a PvP server. <laughs> yep. Oh no. This is beautiful. Just let it happen. Oh shit. All right. Fuck yeah, dude. Fuck yeah, dude. Two girls. Th what, three? Oh my god. Okay, yeah, that's, yeah, this is pretty accurate. Fuck yeah, dude. Watch, the gnome's gonna fall. I knew it. Stupid. Hey. Hey, dude, this is a good vi- I love this video. I, I actually love this fucking video. Yep. That's oh, us. Look at that. Epic mounts. Playing all fucking day. Look at him, he's still got Herod's shoulder though. The guy sucks. <laughs> oh no. I guess this is uh this is whenever phase two came out. Oh no. Oh no. Wanna sell water and ports? Wasted time? Wait, what do you mean wasted time? Well, he's still got the two thoughties, so it's okay. Professional retard. Oh no. Yeah, that's not a surprise. I'd do the same thing. you by the way and that's how it happens wait this is like wait this is me he has Dal Rins oh shit he's ranking all right man this guy's good at the game still has Dal Rins yeah this actually is me what the fuck except for the Scarlet belt a little bit of a nub thing Was it worth it, Anon? Did you have fun? Yes.
Yes. That was really good. See, WoW used to be a game that you would ruin your life over and you do it all over again. You you've already, you've you you would you ruin your life over it and it's like, "Wow, that was incredible. I had the time of my life." Yeah, cuz like you know this guy like at the beginning, right? You've got this thing right here. He's sitting there with his wife. I mean, he probably played WoW in high school. And he was a loser and he didn't have any friends. And the moment that he sees an opportunity to relive that experience once more, one more time, he's like, fuck that bitch, dude. I don't have time for any of that, man. I'm going to get that armor. And then he's sitting there playing the game, chilling, having a good fucking time, man. That isn't the message. Well, that's because the message is wrong. That's it. Any MMO back then, really? Yeah, exactly. That's the way to do it. Yeah. I, I mean, I remember... Like, if I look at my Slash Played, there are a lot of people that would look at my Slash Played and say, you know what? That's not liking a game. That's a mental disorder. You know, like, there's something wrong with him. And for me, the only thing that if I could go back and change is that I would have started playing WoW earlier. I, I, like, the I like playing the game. It's fun. And so, you know what? Like, I, I don't have any regrets. Show us? I've showed you a hundred times. Like, well, I've got to show you again? Holy shit, the message, yeah, the message is wrong. What are the comments on this? See you tomorrow for the raid. Last logged in 56 days ago. That's, that's a little bit, that's a little bit real. Yeah, that, that's, a, that's a little bit real. Remember to spend time with your friends outside Azeroth as well. No, this is wrong. Uh, remember to get your friends to play WoW so you can play inside of Azeroth with them as well. And they come over to your house and they bring their laptop and they play over at your house or on your other computer. That, that that's the that's the real message, dude. Uh, there's so many elements of truth in this for any consuming activity. Shit hurts anything saying goodbye, man. Why does it have to be? Why does it have to have a lifespan? Uh, I hope Asmogol will never react to this. It's just so depressing. I'm sure Asmogol was the Pepe getting Ash Condi. Oh my fucking god! Are you kidding me? Like yeah, you're right. No 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 no. Listen, guys. Yeah, you're right. I'm not going to give Ash Condi to a fucking hunter. We're not going to give Ash Condi to a fucking hunter. Nobody gives a shit about a hunter's damage. If you're a warrior, you can actually do something with your life. You can make an impact on the world. Okay, you go out into a BG and what you do matters. With a hunter, you just watch the flag. Just watch the flag, bro. Like, that's it. Like, who gives a fuck what weapon he's using? Who cares? Doesn't matter. Uh, and like no king rules firm or something. This nostalgically sad video on YouTube right now. This hit home. So many friendships made since launch. Since launch. So many lost. That's what's so crazy for me. I feel like I've gotten so lucky with my guild. Every single person that I leveled up with and play with. Besides Royson. We still raid together. Like if you go and you take a screenshot of my first MC raid. And the people that I leveled up with and played with. I still play with them, and pretty much every single one, man. And uh, McConnell, oh, I, I don't want to get too into that right now, but McConnell and I had like a three-hour conversation last night, and uh, I'll talk a little bit about what what we talked about, but like I don't want to get too into it, you know what I mean? Uh, so I, I did actually talk to McConnell yesterday. Uh, this is hard. A lot of people originally started playing Classic, and they're just gone now. Some just left without saying a word. It sucks. I had a group of friends today doing a dungeon every day, then raiding. Now most people that are still around log in for raid and are never to be seen otherwise. Well, yeah, there's nothing else to do. Uh, I love how the horde are just a bunch of boomers. Yeah, true. Uh, by the way, effects in the video look dope. Yeah, this is really, really good. Like... Yeah, that's what was so good about the game. Is that... You'd make your friends, and it wouldn't matter what was happening in real life, dude. It wouldn't matter. If Ashley's calling you, you just tell her you're busy. Like, I had something, there's something, uh, yeah, my phone, uh, it was like this weird thing that my phone does where, like, sometimes I just don't get calls. Uh, I don't, I need to call Verizon about it, because I don't know what's going on at all. This is, like, a really weird thing. So, you know, I don't know. I've, I've got, really, nah. And then you act like you're mad about it, and then, you know, just keep doing it all day. 
yeah, this is great, man. This is what the game's all about. Uh, I love it. I lost a lot of girlfriends to WoW. It was worth it. Well, yeah, of course it was. Like, what are they going to do for you? Show us my slash plate. Sure, I'll do it right now. 1,000, over 1,000 days slash plate on just one character. Just one character. 1,000 days. Okay? Yeah, I, I played the game a lot. And I don't regret a damn thing. I'll tell you that, I don't regret a damn thing. That's 25,000 hours? <laughs> That's one character. Total, I have 1,415 days slash played, and that doesn't even count classic. Like, it doesn't even count classic. Like, here's the thing, dude, is like, I do this shit all the time. I play the game all the fucking time. I've, I've, uh, I've wow, most of us just wasted your lives. Can you really say that you've wasted your life if you've enjoyed it, though? Like... Well, ultimately, I mean, I, I don't really think that's entirely true. Like, everybody has, uh, you know, you have one life to live, you know, and you can do whatever you want. And what's the problem with doing what you want to do and making yourself happy and working towards something like that? I'm actually going to make a video about needs because I feel like being a neat, it's something that's not, it's beautiful. It, it's not like, it, it, it's it's not a bad thing, right? It's a, it's only a bad thing whenever you're like a, a, a draw in society, you know what I mean? But like, it's a beautiful thing. Like you wake up and it's like 3 p.m. And it's like, oh man, I woke up early. You go back to bed. Now it's 5 p.m. And you think to yourself, okay, well, I'm going to lay in bed for two hours and jack off and read Twitter. Now it's 7 p.m. Now you have to go to the fucking, to get your favorite fucking food before the place closes. So you, you go up there and you drive up there, you get your food, you come back home and you lay on the floor and you eat the food on the floor while you watch YouTube videos on your TV. I, I genuinely feel like neats are the, they're this generation's monks. Like they, they are. And they're monks. They're Western American monks, not like the Eastern monks. They're monks because they spend all day searching for enlightenment. And if you think about this, right, if you're sitting around all day jacking off, think about like the, the Japanese even have a word for like after you finish and you start thinking about physics. You know what I mean? Like start thinking about like, you know, Stephen Hawking and stuff like that. And that's what you do, right? Sounds like depression. No, it's not because depression re requires you to be depressed, you know? And then on top of that, like you have like how many other societies and everything like that uh, you know, like religious societies, like monk societies, make you take a vow of celibacy. Neats, most of the time, take a vow of celibacy. They might not do it on purpose, but it happens anyway. And so the outcome is pretty much the same thing. If you look at this, right, they are genuine monks. And they spend all day trying to reach a certain level of, like, clarity or understanding. Yeah, as people end up homeless later on? Well, no, because you have, a, we have welfare. Yeah, they have welfare, so they're not going to end up because the welfare will pay for them to do nothing all day. Uh, so yeah, that, that's it.